uh, asked over COVID then. So the next talk is going to be from Mr. Gosh about piperine loaded PEC PLGA nanoparticles, preparation characterization and targeted delivery for adjuvant breast cancer chemotherapy. So thank you very much for coming and hope to see some real targeting here. This is for our... And this is the pointer. Okay. First of all, I must thank Dr. Bitlufler for giving me the opportunity to come to this country and present my work in the cleanup. The title of my talk... Can I read? Piperine loaded... Preparation characterization targeted delivery for adjuvant breast cancer therapy. You see, there is a limitation of cancer treatment because most of the anti-cancer drugs are extremely toxic and causes number of side effects. Passive as well as active targeting of anti-cancer drug formulations are commercially available, for example this, but this itself has number of advantages and disadvantages. One of them is very high cost. So chemotherapy, surgery, radiotherapy are the main mode of treatment for the cancer still today. So what we have been thinking that natural herbs for cancer, there are thousands of natural herbs have history for use in treatment of the cancer. Many spices have also have history. These are safe and has been approved by the FDA. We use turmeric and this black pepper. These are two are also, all of these herbs are anti-cancer properties. See, now curcumin, it was isolated from curcumin longa in cancer treatment. It has chemoprotective activity, therapeutic effects, various cancer, suppressed angiogenesis, metastasis, protect immune system for the tumor barrier, cytotoxic effect, cancer stem cells, phase one clearance studies have also been done. But it has a limitation. You see, if you see the therapeutic dose, it is duration is short period of time, and bioavailability is also very less. Therefore, we have to have some alternative way to deliver this thing. No, piperine, this is the world's first bioavailability enhancer. It inhibits P-glycoprotein, cytochrome, P34A, as well as these enzymes. These are the enzymes and protein involved for the elimination of a drug rapidly. As a result, bioavailability is significantly reduced. Besides, it has a chemopreventive against carcinogen, anti-cancer, anti-metastatic activity, resensitized multi drug resistant cancer cell. We use another components. There is monensin, structure of the monensin. This was isolated from streptomyces, cinomyelosis. Monensin not only acts as an anti malarial agent, but also acts as an anti cancer agent. It also helps in the reversal of the drug resistance by inhibiting pre glycoprotein overexposed cancer cell. Besides, it has a number of effects, which I am going to explain because of the short time. We have incorporated these three components in PLGA PEG nanoparticles. These are the methods I am going to discuss about PEG nanoparticles. Then we have compared the free form, PEG PLG nanoparticle form, and in the combination form in the treatment of cancer as well as in malaria. Then we have characterized various drug loaded nanoparticles by various biophysical techniques dynamic laser scattering, transmission electron microscopy, X ray diffraction, Fourier transfer, FTIR, and in vitro release profile. So these are the characteristics of various drug loaded nanoparticles size. Nanoparticles are smooth, spherical in shape, generally 100 to 40 nanometer range. These are the electromicroscopic. The information available from the X-ray and Fourier FTIR, carcumin, piperin, monensin was found to be amorphous state in the nanomatrix. There is no chemical interaction between carcumin, piperin, monensin, and pec QLJ nanoparticles. The drug release profile. Initially, there is a first release of the drug in the first three hours, followed by a sustained release. Both curcumin and piperin was observed. Then we have checked the cellular uptake studies by incorporating Comarin 6 loaded PQLG nanoparticles in MCF7 cells. MCF7 cells were incubated with this loaded 
for two hours, followed by it with lysol lys tracker, then we found that this curcumin, curcumin loaded pig pigeon nanoparticles are taken up by the cell, and it also lysol tracker. But when we merge it, we found that these nanoparticles are not going to lysosome. Therefore, peg PLG nanoparticles are taken up the MCF7 cell. Encapsulated drug can be delivered inside the cell without going to lysosome. There is cellular migration assay, scas wound healing assay after treatment with curcumin papyrin loaded PLG nanoparticles, MCF cell. A and A dot. A wound gap in cell monolayer was created by scratch. B and B dot, after 72 hours, the gap was completely filled when no treatment was given. When treatment was given in this plate, C and D, C and D, 20 and 40 microgram, it inhibits the healing and the gap is not filled. Similarly, in the piperine, so both carcumin and piperine inhibits the migration of the cell. Then, then we have checked the anti polyphenol activity of the carcumin piperin monensin in nanoformulation in various cancer cells. We found the carcumin piperin monensin free as well as peak PLG nanoformulations effective in killing various cancer cells. Next, we focus mainly this is the lung cancer cells, cervical cancer, liver cancer, uh, these are all the breast cancer cells. We mainly focus on this, we are interested on this cell line. So then we checked the effect of carcumin piperin loaded peak PLG nanoparticles on apoptosis they are seeing facts in MCF cell. This is normal cells, and in these apoptotic cells, there is an exposure of this phosphoryl serine, late apoptotic cell. So when you have tested by facts analysis after treating with this facts kit, so what we found that this treatment with this carcumin piperin led to the apoptosis. So carcumin piperin, PQLG will exhibit apoptotic effect in MCF cell. Combination, this is a combination therapy. Combination of the carcumin will results in enhanced apoptotic induced cell death. Then we checked the viability carcumin combination with piperin mice model. Carcumin and piperin were injected subcutaneously into mice, and level of carcumin in blood was measured at different time intervals. What we found free carcumin, it remains 1.31. We have taken the full enhancement. When free carcumin and piperin are given, it increases to 1.76. When carcumin, peg PLG nanoparticle is given, 16.5-fold enhancement in the blood level. When carcumin, peg PLG nanoparticle, piperin are given simultaneously, then 20-fold enhancement of the carcumin is available. This again shows that piperin acts as a viability enhancer. There is enhanced availability of the carcumin in blood circulation when injected alone with piperin. Enhancement of viability of carcumin is further improved when injected with carcumin, piperin, peg PLG nanoparticles. Then we have conjugated. The basic conjugation of the aptamer on the surface of peg PLG nanoparticles and its characterization. Mucin C1 is a transformation glycopodine. In most malignant adenocarcinoma, MCMUs is altered and overexpressed. So aptamer is a single, sorry. Aptamar is a single standard nucleic acid molecules folded in a specific 3D structure. Conjugation, conjugation of MC1 aptamar, PQLG nanoparticle, by EDC and peptide coupling. We have done these conjugations. Then we found that it is very much, then we have characterized with agarose gel. It is very clear that aptamar is conjugated to the surface of the PQLG nanoparticles through peptide bond formation between carboxyl group of PLG and amino group of aptamar. Then we examine the targeted delivery of aptamar conjugated peg PLG nanoparticles in mucin positive and negative cell. This is HEPG2, is a mucin negative cell, and this is MCF, is a uh, uh, this, uh, um, uh, aptamar positive cell. So, what we found when we have done this, you see, negative cell, there is no enhanced process uptake, but whereas the MCF cell, where is this? Mucin is overexpressed, there, there is a significant enhancement of the fluorescence. So, aptamar conjugation enhances internalization of nanoparticles in mucin positive MCF cell as compared to the mucin negative cell. So, therefore, pro cytomatic evaluation targeted delivery. FITC encapsulated PEG nanoparticles were incubated in the mucin positive cell and negative cell for four hours. Internalization was determined. IC50 for targeted, untargeted, at, you see, free curcumin, 28.3. Untargeted, sorry, this targeted one, 28.3, untargeted, 
and this is 34.4. ICF to targeted and targeted free, free piperin is this. Then, evaluation of in vivo antimalarial efficacy of various drugs loaded in PLG by Peter Fordes suppressive test. What we have done? We have done malaria model by injecting 1.26 plus volume barga infected erythrocyte was injected in the mice. Then, after 42 hours, different drugs were injected, different drug formulations were injected for consecutive days. The blood smear, then paracetamol was calculated. This is the free drugs. Therapeutic efficacy, carcumin, piperin, pernacin, free form on the treatment of the viral model of malaria. The control mice, control vehicles, then free carcumin, it comes to 25, is a control out of 38. Free piperin, slightly lesser. Free monacin, it brings from 38 to 24. Then we have injected therapeutic efficacy, this in the formulation alone or in combination, what we found. When we give the carcumin, piperin, peg PLG nanoparticles, 50 milligram and 50 milligram, it's a complete elimination of the parasitomia was observed. So carcumin, piperin, monacin, and peg PLG nanoparticles are effective in reducing the parasite load in blood circulation. Carcumin in combination with piperin completely eliminates the parasitemia. So summary, carcumin, piperin, monacin were successfully loaded in peg PLG nanoparticles. This nanoparticle displayed antipolyperatic, antimetastatic activities against various cancer cell lines and antimalarial effect in viral model of malaria. Combination of the carcumin and piperin nanoparticles not only showed enhanced antipolyperatic, antiapoptotic activity, but also exhibit enhanced antimalarial activity. Enhanced retention of the carcumin in blood circulation in mice was observed when carcumin was administered along with piperin in free and nano formulation. Aptamar conjugated, FITC encapsulated, peg PLG nanoparticles were preferentially accumulated in mucine positive MCF cell as compared to negative FGT cell. Combination of curcumin, piperin, encapsulated aptamar targeted peg PLG nanoparticles may find its application in the management of drug resistant malaria. Thank you. <clears throat> Are there questions for this? So is this the final combination, putting all three things together in one? They are separate. Separate, then we give the injection. Okay. Separately. Okay. 